even though you might be getting some private, you might be getting some money from the bank now, they're going to cut you off after about four or five properties. And with private lenders, you can get unlimited amount of money and you can buy as many deals as you can find. And with private money, you'll be able to close the deal quicker than you will uh, trying to get uh, money from the bank. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. My guest today on Raising Private Money, well, they've raised already $200,000 in private money for their real estate deals. Well, this is a father and daughter team. Now, the father has been investing in real estate for over 25 years, and his daughter just joined him recently, a few months ago, to uh, be in this world of real estate investing as a father-daughter real estate investing team. Well, the daddy now, he is a nationally published author. His book is titled Lend Smart and Grow Rich, Lending Your Way to Financial Freedom. Uh, his daughter is a certified life coach with decades and decades of experience. In fact, she has helped others push beyond self-doubt, negative thinking, and internal dialogue to identify their God-given talent to live a life of purpose and really unlimited possibilities. In addition to that, uh, the daughter of this dynamic duo is a deaconess uh, in church who looks for opportunities to encourage, inspire, and to motivate God's people. Now, the father in this team served in the United States Army as a communication center specialist all the way back during the Vietnam War. Now, his real estate investing career actually began all the way back in 1995, investing in single family properties. Now, in addition to real estate, he's invested in stocks, he's invested in stock options, and he has got his education as well. He's a student of Ron Grand. He's a graduated master in real estate investing, and both of them are members of my Platinum Plus program and my coveted mastermind community. In just a moment, you're going to meet my very, very special guest, Benjamin Mayo and Cheryl White, right after this. Well, hello, Ben and Cheryl. Welcome to Raising Private Money. Hello, Jay. We're pleased to be here. Yes, I am so pleased and so blessed to have you all, this dynamic father and daughter team, joining me here on the show. And in addition to that, we are Eastern North Carolina uh, fellows and fellowettes and deaconesses uh, here in Eastern North Carolina. So it's so good to be on here with you all. Now, I, my first question right here off the bat is I want to hear, uh, Ben, Cheryl, what was your, now you've been investing, Ben, in real estate all the way back, you know, 25, you know, all the way back to 1995. Yeah. What did your real estate investing business look like prior to using and having private money at your disposal? And how's it different now that you do have private money? Well, back there then, Jay, I, uh, we were doing most of our investing, well, in the same community, and we received money, we got money from the banks. Uh, we was at the bank uh, quite often trying to get money so we can buy real estate. And back there then, I was a, a part of a team. It was three of us. And one of the individuals was a, a doctor. He was a gynecologist. And at that time, you know, he could, we could go to the bank and get all the money that we want. Tell me about it. Because he, <laughs> he was a doctor. And uh, from that, uh, we started off too big. We went and bought some property. And, you know, it was like four or five houses with apartment buildings, about four doors of apartment building. And, and we paid about three hundred thousand dollars for it. Found out about a month later, it should have been a hundred and fifty. Mm. And so 
you know, we did not we did not have anyone helping us at that time. We were trying to do it as on, on our own and we paid the price. Well, what's the lesson you learned out of that? Is to make sure that when you start doing what you're doing, make sure you have someone working with you that know how to do what you're doing. In yeah, other words, that. get a mentor, <laughs> somebody that's doing the business like you. And that is totally different uh, back there then than it is now. Now, you know, I, I have coaches, I have mentors, and our business now is basically running on, we use our private lenders to fund our deals, and all of our deals are secured, our private lenders are secured, and it's totally different than it was back there then. Yeah. Well, you and I have got something in common, Ben, and that is, you know, the first six years that Carol Joy, my wife and I were in this business, uh, the first six years, uh, we started full time back in 2003. And from 2003 to 2009, like you were talking about, we relied on the local bank to fund our deals. And of course, it was the bank that was making the rules. It was the bank that was setting the interest rate. It was the bank that was pulling my credit and telling me the loan to value and looking at my verification of income and, you know, just really had my hands tied as far as how I could do my business. And I remember it like it was yesterday, January 2009, after being in the business for six years, I went to borrow money from the bank for my real estate deals and learned that I'd been shut down with mm. the rest of the world. I, you know, my banker said, Jay, don't you know there's a global financial crisis going on? I said, no, but now I got a crisis. I can't fund my deals. Right? <laughs> but you know, Ben and Shirley, it was the biggest blessing in disguise I've ever had in this business. It was a blessing in disguise losing my lines of credit at the bank because I had to find a better way or quicker way, an easier way, a more profitable way to uh, get funding for my deals. And that's when I learned about private money. And of course, the rest is history. Carol Joy and I now have 47 private lenders funding our deals. And so, so that's what, ha is that what happened? Like, you know, I had a, I had a, I had a pivotal point. I had a turning point in our business that really made all the difference. Uh, and that was the bank stopped loaning, you know, money to me. What was it that happened in your real estate investing business that triggered you to search for the private money? Well, back in 2015, uh, I was looking at trying to buy some properties, but we just could not get the financing. So I attended uh, an event that was put on by Ron LeGrand. And then in that event, I met you. And then I heard about private lending. What in the world is this private lending? And you explained it, and it made sense that you don't have to worry about going to the bank. No one is going to run, like you said, they're not going to run my credit score. Uh, none of that. I don't have to guarantee, uh, put my name on any documents for the bank. It made perfect sense. So that's when I got connected with you and I've been following you since 2015. And then last year in October, I really started to following you and got in involved in your mastermind and your platinum program. And things have been running a lot smoother and a lot better. Well, it's just a joy working with you and, you know, seeing all the progress you're making, the deals, you know. For those of you that are listening to this podcast, we're visiting here with a gentleman and his daughter that's got the highest integrity of anybody I know. He does what he says he'll do. He's a man of his word. Uh, he's a God-fearing man, and he's not ashamed to say that, just like I'm not ashamed to say it. And we, uh, he, like I, we've got a servant's heart. He leads with a servant's heart, um, you know looking after his investors, his private lenders, and creating win-win scenarios. So, uh, Ben and Cheryl, from your all's experience, I mean, you've got private lenders now. You're using private money. You're working with private lenders. What is it about your private lending program that your private lenders really, really like and enjoy about being an investor with you? Well, they like the return on their investment. Right now, 
you know, the banks are paying, I don't know, maybe four, five, six percent. Uh, but we can offer them a much higher rate of return on their investment. And they like being able to just sit back, enjoy that interest payment that's coming in, and they don't have to do any of the work. We take care of doing all the work. We go find the properties. We get the deal secured. And then all they do is just send the money to the attorney and we just close the deal. They don't have to worry about showing up at the attorney's office. They just send the money there. The attorney provides the paperwork. Everything is safe. Everything is documented. Everything is recorded. And they are protected just like the bank. And that's one thing that they enjoy. Just like any other financial institution that loan money for real estate, they are protected in the same way. And they love that. And plus getting that high rate of return. Yeah. Uh, same thing for my private lenders. Um, you know, your private lenders, my private lenders, the private lenders absolutely love being involved in real estate. But like you said, private lenders, they don't have, they don't have any interest in, you know, finding deals, negotiating deals, overseeing deals, talking with sellers. I mean, it's been my experience with my private lenders, uh, Ben, uh, private lenders just want to sit back, be totally passive and, you know, watch their accounts grow. Of course, um, you know, private lenders invest with us either with their investment capital uh, and or their retirement funds. Yeah. So uh, talk about that for a moment, uh, Ben, as to your private lenders. Are they using investment capital or are they using retirement funds to invest with you or both? Uh, right now, uh, I have some doing both, but the majority, they are doing it through their retirement funds. Uh, and there's a couple that uh, did a little uh, investment with their capital. And uh, one of them have already been cashed out of a deal with their capital. Uh, but the one that is receiving it uh, in their retirement account, they love that. It's out there and they just keep uh, just loaning me money. And matter of fact, uh, we just turned over one uh, a couple of months ago. And he's investing up with us again. And so they just enjoy that. So talk to our listeners a little bit about how is it that an individual can use their retirement funds to be a private lender with you? Are there any, I mean, what are the steps involved with that? Are there, is there any tax consequences of them using their retirement funds? Is there any kind of penalties? Um, how does that work? Well, there are, no, if they have their 401k or from a pension plan, what they can do is transfer that money over to a self-directed uh, IRA. And in, in that transfer, when they transfer directly from their retirement or IRA to a self-directed, there is no penalty. There are no taxes that they will have to pay. And, and when we fund the deal, we pay all the closing costs. They don't have to pay any money out of their uh, capital investment. Their investment stays the same, and we pay the initial cost to get everything set up. And that's one thing that they enjoy also. So they don't have to worry about, um, well, you know, they don't have to worry about paying taxes uh, using those retirement funds because all the returns they get, depending on the type of retirement account they've got, are either tax deferred or tax free income, right. depending on the retirement account they got, right? That's correct. All right, tax deferred yeah. or either uh, non-taxable, depending on what type of IRA they have. They do have. Right. Correct. Well, Ben, you've really become an expert in this field of private money and private lending, and showing people and teaching people, uh, just like you and me, how they can get high rates of return safely and securely, either either using their investment capital and or using their retirement funds. And you've gotten such an expert at this. You're a national uh, selling author. Your book is on Amazon. And uh, the name of your book is Lend Smart and Grow Rich, Lending Your Way to Financial Freedom, a step-by-step -step guide by you, Mr. Benjamin Mayo. Tell everybody about this book and, and how they can get this book on how they can learn how to be a a private lender passively involved in real estate and getting these high rates of return safely and securely. Well, just like Jay said, you can get this book on Amazon. If uh, you can 
you know, go on, on to Amazon and just search for this book or either search for Benjamin Mayo and the book will come up and you can get a copy of this book. And this book is, is, is based about my program of how you invest with me, how you can get high rates of return. It spells out step by step how you can do that. Invest with me, sit back, relax, and enjoy your return on your money. And now, I'm like to sit back and relax and enjoy the return part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and that's what the private lenders enjoy. Like we said earlier, they don't have to worry about going out and finding the deal. They don't have to worry about finding any contract or subcontract. We take care of all that. They just sit back and relax and enjoy that money once they come in once a quarter, once a month, or whatever they decide. It's all up to them how often they get their uh, investment. That's wonderful. Now, I know we have listeners that want to be able to contact you directly. What's the best way for our listeners to get in contact with you directly, Ben? Okay, well, they can contact me uh, either on my cell phone. I can give that number. Uh, sure. That's 252-567-1460. 252-567-1460. Or they can uh, email me at BMNC Home Buyers, that's with uh, double, uh, multiple multiple buyers, BMNC Home Buyers at gmail.com. That's all right, that's it. excellent. Well, and for all of you that are listening, uh, that contact information, of course, will be in the show notes. Now, Cheryl, you, um, you recently, uh, I mean, you're a certified life coach. You recently and, and joined... Um, joined in business here with your with your father Ben. Yes. Why did you decide to come uh, join and and join the party? Well, I've I've always heard him speaking about when he when he have gone to the live events, um, and you know since right now I am in the market in the job market, so I said like, okay, this is a good time. I knew that he needed some help, and he needed some people that could help him move this business um, forward. So I said. I'm looking for a job now. I'll help him. And um, and to my surprise, I really gotten interested in what this real estate real estate investing can do. Um, so I've been excited about learning, and I have so much enjoyed being in the mastermind groups and things with you um, on our calls and things. So it's it's been very 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 good. Awesome, awesome. So what would you say? Um, what would you say that you're bringing to the table, uh, Cheryl, as far as your part of the team? I think what I can bring to the team is like my dad is a business, <laughs> very business minded. I am the one who is like just kind of fly by the seat of your pants. <laughs> I am the fun part of this duo here. <laughs> um, I'm real lighthearted, so I think I can bring, you know, some of that into the space um, where somebody does not have to feel like they are, you know, being pressured that they are all business. But, you know, I want this business to be fun, not just for us, but for everybody. Absolutely. You got you got to enjoy the enjoy the journey. Go ahead, Ben. And uh, one other thing she's going to help me with that she she knows about is uh, that social media. <laughs> <laughs> she she's gonna help me with that and and she all she already told me she told me a few minutes ago she said have you posted anything yet and i said no she's well i'm gonna get my belt i gotta whip you <laughs> so oh, she's that, she gonna, she gonna help me get on social media <laughs> that's fantastic now ben let's change gears a little bit and let's speak to our real estate investors uh that are tuning in here to the show that are interested in uh, getting private money themselves uh, to do deals with private lenders. And, um, and let's speak to our listeners that um, let's speak to our listeners that are a real estate investor, but they haven't raised any private money yet. They don't have any, you know, private lenders yet. And I want you to give your comment on this, Ben. Mm -hmm. I, I have real, I have real estate investors say to me uh, every now and then, well, you know, Jay, I don't need any private money. Um, I just want to do terms deals. I just want to buy, you know, with seller financing on off-market deals. I just want to, I just want to buy 
you know, subject to the existing note. I really don't need any private money in this real estate investing business. What would your answer and your uh, response be to that, Ben, if you were to hear that? Well, the first thing I'll tell them, you do need <laughs> private money. Now, why? <laughs> because <laughs> what's going to happen is even though you might be getting some private, you might be getting some money from the bank now, they're going to cut you off after about four or five properties. And with private lenders, you can get unlimited amount of money and you can buy as many deals as you can find. And with private money, you'll be able to close the deal quicker than you will uh, trying to get uh, money from the bank. And it, it gets tough sometimes trying to find somebody that's going to sell your house on terms or uh, on a finance. Uh, with private money, with the REO properties that's being listed, you can, with that private money, you can go and purchase that deal and close within seven to 10 business days. And those banks love that. They're going to work with you and you'll be able to buy properties a lot quicker and probably a lot cheaper than you can if you're getting financing from the bank where you got to wait 45 or 50 days before you can close the deal. So, yeah, the list is long, isn't it, Ben? And it, 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 I mean, it, why it, do it. I love, why do I love working with my private lenders? And as I said, we got 47 private lenders. I love working with my private lenders uh, and they love it because as you say, they get, High rates of return safely and securely. I love working with them because, as you say, we can close deals so quickly. There's no limit to the number of private lenders that we can do business with. There's no limit to the amount of private money we can use. I mean, here on this side of COVID, there's over $31 trillion in cash sitting on the sidelines. And people, quite frankly, don't even know what to do with their investment capital. Now, we have Steve here that just commented. He's uh, watching us on our live stream going in right now to LinkedIn. Hello there, Steve. Thank you for tuning in. And Steve is uh, saying he's a real estate investor. He does fix and flips. Welcome to the show, Steve. That's what we do. Steve says he's interested in working with private lenders. Well, Steve, since you asked, I got a free gift for you. Ben's a, a published author and so am I. So um, my book here is called Where to Get the Money Now, Where to Get the Money Now, subtitle, Where, How and Where to Get Money for Your Real Estate Deals Regardless of Your Credit and Without Relying on Hard Money Lenders or Traditional Lenders. Steve and everyone that's listening, you can get my book by going to jconnor.com forward slash book. J Connor, and that's, that's an E-R, J-A-Y, C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash book. You can't even download this. You can't even download it. Uh, my publisher wouldn't even let me give it out as a download. We actually mail this to you in the mail. Can you believe, Ben, the post office is still <laughs> open? Still open. <laughs> yep. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll autograph this book for you, Where to Get the Money Now. Drop it in the mail to you, uh, Steve, and along with anybody else that's listening here to the show, just go to Jay Connor, J A Y C O N N E R dot com forward slash book, and we'll drop that uh, in the mail to you. Um, so, you know, if you were talking, and you've done this, of course, Ben and Cheryl, if you were talking to a new uh, potential private lender that had never heard of private money, which, by the way, all of my private lenders, they never heard of private money. They never heard of self-directed IRAs until I told them about it. Was that the private money, your private lenders? Had they ever heard of private money? Uh, I think one of them had heard of it, but really didn't know exactly what it was. So gotcha. I, I had to explain that uh, to them what private money was. And I'm gonna let mm -hmm. Cheryl kind of give an idea of what private money is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm in, I'm in training right now, Jay. Okay. Um, You've been training, okay. Well, hey, what better place than on a live podcast? <laughs> <laughs> um, so um private lending is individuals um who lend out their money um from their investment capital or um retirement accounts. And it's that simple. Yep. yep. Just that simple. Yep. Yeah. So when we're talking private money, we're not talking any kind of institutional money. 
We're not talking any kind of uh, hard money. And, you know, I got a lot of friends that are hard money lenders. <laughs> and, of course, a hard money lender, for those of you that are tuning into the show here, a hard money lender is actually typically most of the time a broker of money that has gone out and has raised private money from individuals like we're talking about. And those individual private lenders invest in the hard money lenders fund. And then the hard money lender, you know, loans it out. Whereas when the way we're talking about doing business here with private lenders and individuals is we're doing, we're, we're doing just simple one-on-one -on -one transactions between us, the borrower, and our private money lenders. And, you know, and, and so that they are what we all call one-offs. These are all one-offs, which means you have a private lender or a couple of private lenders that are funding a deal uh, and securing their property. And, you know, Ben, you mentioned this at the start of the show, and that is, you know, you and Cheryl, myself, we're not borrowing unsecured funds. Right. We can. We can borrow unsecured get collateral so they get the promissory note of course but that note is backed by a deed of trust or a mortgage collateralizing that note we name the private lender on the insurance policy is the mortgagee in case there's any claims against that property then the private lender is covered we name the private lender on the title policy as an additional insured in case there's you know any uh, title issues down the road so yeah the private lender gets the same exact protection as the bank does. That's, that's right. right. That's right. And that and that's what a lot of most of them like. They got the same protection as the bank. And you know what else could you ask for? You got that same protection and you it's backed by a real asset, a hard asset or property. Exactly. Now you mentioned um, recently you had a private lender funding a deal and you cashed out on that deal. And of course you're paying the private lender back um, and you have to pay them back. You're not going to keep the money until you have the next deal. Did your private lender want you to just keep the money? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and, and right now they're considering adding some more to that. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, uh, Ben and Cheryl, um, again, it's been fantastic having you here on the show. One more time, I want to let all of our listeners know, if you're remotely interested in getting high rates of return on your investment capital or your retirement funds, Ben and Cheryl, highest of integrity, they back all the notes, conservative loan to values, deeds of trust. So the uh, Gmail address, or rather the website, the website to uh, Ben and Cheryl is www.b, that stands for Ben, so B and then M stands for Mayo, so B for Ben, M for Mayo, NC, homebuyers.com, and also uh, your book. So uh, Ben's book, name of his book is Lending Smart or Lend Smart, Grow Rich, Lending Your Way to Financial Freedom. And um, my guess is, Ben, uh, if someone just contacted you directly, you'd probably give them the book for free is my guess. That's but right. um, what is your cell phone number one more time, nice and slow? And of course, we'll have it in the show notes, folks, for you to uh, get up with Ben. But your, uh, your phone number one more time there, Ben. 252-567-1460. That's fantastic. Cheryl, I'll let you have final comments and then Ben will let you wrap it up. Cheryl? Um, it's been great being on your podcast, Jay, and I thank you so much for all the wisdom and things that you share with us. And I am going to enjoy this ride of working with my dad. <laughs> I love it. Ben, your final thoughts. And I'd like to say to anyone out there that's interested in investing in real estate that the first thing you need to do is to find someone that's investing in real estate, that's doing them what you want to do. If you want to buy, sell, and fix up, find that individual, find that mentor, and let them coach you on what you need to do. Because if you don't, you'll pay the price like I did in the beginning. You need a mentor. So get find your mentor, and Jay Connor is the best one that I know. God bless you, man. 
God bless you, Ben. Thank you so much. And thank you, our listeners and viewers, for tuning in to another amazing episode of Raising Private Money. I'm your host, Jay Connor, and I need your help. If you found this episode inspiring and motivating and informational, be sure and share uh, this episode. If you're listening or watching on YouTube, be sure and click that uh, button that says ring that bell so you don't miss out on the upcoming notifications. And we also really appreciate your uh, follow. If you uh, happen to be uh, listening on iTunes or Spotify, be sure and follow. So excited to have you here joining us here on the show. Look forward to seeing you on the next Raising Private Money. And here's to taking your business to the next level. Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, wishing you all the best. We'll see you right here on the next Raising Private Money with Jay Connor. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's jconner.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconner.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.